Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. Time to take a look at one of our tennis competitions, which has ended for the season, and that is the Southern Ports Tennis Association League. And joining me on the line now is our regular correspondent, and guess what, folks? He's a premiership winner too, and that is Egan Regnier. Coming to us off the back of the Road Rebels taking out the Div 3 Grand Final in the Southern Ports Tennis Comp. Egan, still on cloud nine, I gather? Uh, Yeah. It was a very good win by our side, so um, yeah, can be happy with the way we finished the season. That's for sure. Well, before we get to reviewing the uh, three grand finals which took place on the weekend, it's almost strange speaking to you at this point in time, knowing this information, because four or five weeks ago it seemed like you were dragging your feet a little bit, and uh, here you are with some silverware now. Yeah, a bit of a form slump, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, a bit down. Well, not down your mind, but. Uh, you know, yeah, second guessing that we weren't playing um, great tennis leading towards the end of it. But, uh, yeah, we picked up our feet uh, late and, uh, yeah, got into the finals and um, had, yeah, a very good win on grand final day. So, yeah, it all went pretty well, I guess. All right. Well, we'll get to that later on. But uh, congratulations from all of us. And uh, you enjoy that silverware. Again, we'll discuss that uh, in a few short moments' time. But let's go to the... Uh, a side of things as far as the grand finals went. So just to uh, get our listeners up to speed once more, so the top six go into grand final day and then you've got your top two playing it out for the Div 1 grand final, then you've got third and fourth for the Div 2 grand final and then uh, the Div 3 grand final is fifth and sixth. So that's how the day works. A grade uh, grand finalist Kingston in the end and uh, well, congratulations to them. I believe, Egan, that uh, when we first had a chat uh, to commence season 23-24, we floated them as a bit of a dark horse. But uh, in the end, they went one or two further than that. Yeah, for sure. They, um, no, they had a great season. And, um, yeah, well done to the Kings and Tennis Club. They, I don't think they've won a, um, a Div 1 Grand Final for a fair long time. So it's, um, I'm sure they'd be very stoked. With that and yeah, they had a yeah, had a great season. So did Beach Sport though. Beach Sport have um they hit a lot of good form, um, especially after Christmas I guess. So they were gonna be very hard to beat. And um yeah, it was a great grand final. We uh got to watch it on the courts next to us and there were some ripping games um played through the day and you know, the whole day was just um like a seesaw, just so up and down. No one really um, want to take a, a big lead. And, uh, yeah, it came down the very last set of the day. Um, Kingston that were 12-10 up with two sets to go and Beachport called one back but and had to win the very last set of the day. And um, Kingston held their nerve and um, had a really good win, 13-11. So, yeah, I'm sure they'd be all very stoked in um, Kingston and um, hopefully just keeps building for them and um, they get stronger and stronger with their tennis over um, the next couple of years. All right, uh, Beachport in the end, the bridesmaids, but uh, they had a pretty good season, as you mentioned. Um, do they need to just find one or two uh, players that can elevate them to that next level for next season, or do you think it's just, you know, whatever comes down to it on the day, they just need to get back into that grand final territory again? Yeah, uh, I know they had, um, yeah, they've, they've hit some, really, like I said, they hit really good form. Um, towards the end of the season, and I, I, I think I did tip them to win it. Um, they just looked so hard to beat. But uh, yeah, I guess you know, grand finals in any sport, um, if you just play cards right on the day, um, things can go away. Even if you are the underdog, I'm not saying Kingston were the underdog, but um, you know, that's just how grand finals work. And I guess there was, I know there was a couple of close tiebreakers, and I believe they did go Kingston's way. So, and look, it, at the end of the day, that's Probably what it just came down to. So um, yeah, for Beachport, no, they probably don't need to look for. They're not missing a, a key player or anything. Their, their side was really strong. So um, yeah, if they can just keep their side like that for next year. They're going to be very hard to beat again. Okay, well, uh, I did say that Francis Lucendale Eagles would win the uh, grand final. I didn't say which grand final. But uh, that was before I knew how it all worked, Egan, uh, a long time back. So I guess I can still claim that I was right about something. Um, they did defeat the Lucendale Koalas in the end to take out the Div 2 Granny. How would you see this one? Yeah, they uh, they stole it from Lucendale, really. They, um, Lucendale were in the box seat um, for most of the day. Of, uh, what I heard, they were down the very other end um, of Lucendale, so it was a bit hard to see um, some of their results, but 
Yeah, um, you know, you got score updates for the day and um, Loose Tail Quiles led the whole day. They um, got a really good lead towards the end and looked like they just were going to win it. And to France's credit, they fought really hard back and I think they won the last four sets of the day to win it. And they had to win the very last set by a certain score to um, win by games and, and they got that done. And yeah, they pinched it from the koalas. But um, yeah, I'm sure France is very, very stoked that they um, finished on the high like that as well. So well done to them. Well done to them indeed. And well done to your mob too. And well done to you for leading the Robe Rebels to victory and uh, getting the bragging rights secured there in Robe Egan against the Lucendale Wombats. So uh, as I sort of preface the interview, you'd be very happy with the fact that uh, you came away with some silverware in the end. You couldn't have... Hope for anything better, I guess, you know, in these last couple of weeks, knowing that uh, your former side, the Roosters, nowhere to be seen in grand in uh, grand final times. Uh, instead, it was your mob flying the flag. And uh, as I said, bragging rights, that's what it's all got to be about, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I'm not being row buddies at Div 3, and um, probably a lot of people think Div first 6, um, you know, you can just sort of roll over and doesn't, Mean anything, but we uh, we rocked up with the right attitude, and I guess um, really paid off for us. We probably played our best tennis all season on Grand Final Day, which um, will be nice to play a little bit higher up, a um, bit more stake game. But uh, yeah, we we rocked up. We we did everything right. We uh, came out on fire, and um, yeah, I don't think um, the Wombats played probably the best they could have played, but uh, I guess we didn't let them either. So. Yeah, we had a really strong win, 21 sets to three. And, um, yeah, everyone on our team just, just did their bit. So, um, yeah, it was a real um, team team win for sure. Well, again, congratulations from all of us here at Flow FM and uh, thoroughly deserved. It's been a, a painstaking season. So you'll be absolutely stoked with the silverware. Now, what happens from this point? Have you had the footy coaches in your ear at the moment about uh, switching your allegiance again with uh, the winter seasons about to get underway? Uh, oh, yeah, not been my year. I've been I've been out of training um, all this side of uh, the year, which um, you know just a little bit of extra fitness doesn't hurt, I guess. And it's um, you know always good to get to trainings and um, have a bit of muck around um, with a few mates. So yeah, uh, put the racket away for five, six months and uh, focus on uh, footy now. So, um, and I'm sure a lot of people in our league are doing that and netball as well. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's all go, go, go from here on with uh, winter sport. Well, you can break the contract if you want, but we want to get you in for one last week next week, Egan, just to uh, dissect the season that was and talk a little bit about uh, what might be installed for next season for the Southern Ports Tennis Association competition. But uh, it's been a fun ride, and uh, it's ended exactly the way I'm sure you would have hoped for it too. So, again, well done, and thanks again for joining us on the Flow Friday Sports Show. We'll have a chat next week. Yep, that would be great.